Hey everyone, today I've got your Human Centipede 3, the final sequence movie review. Or, as I would like to call it, the Human Centipede piece of shit 3. In this third movie of the Human Centipede franchise, it's basically uh, headed to prison and the same guys from the first two films star in it and shit is about to go down the inmates throats but let's really hope that's not the case here but then again anything can happen in this movie as far as the story goes you've got tom six who once again humps this freak show of a movie and right off the bat there's just a whole bunch of ridiculousness that starts there's this psychotic warden and his right hand man who uh, gets this idea that um, they could create the biggest human centipede ever in their own prison. Basically trying to copy what happened um, after watching and getting tips from the first two films, which is kind of strange because couldn't they tell like who was actually in those movies because they kind of looked like those people? It's like some weird alternate universe or something. They were just trying to up the ante basically. Bad things are bound to happen, and it's not even a fun movie to watch. I mean, I enjoyed watching the first two films, but it's kind of like a cult hit because seriously, it is just totally gross. I remember when I showed my dad the first Human Centipede movie, and he was like, what is this crap? It was just really, really terrible. There's just scenes in this movie that unfold, and it just gets really outlandish, and I didn't think I was going to be able to get through watching this movie. Trust me, I literally had people praying for me uh, before I went ahead and watched this film. As far as the casting goes, the guy from the first Human Centipede movie, um, he was just so obnoxious. His character was kind of, um, like, I, I was hard of hearing him. And he was just being trigger happy and uh, thinks that the Human Centipede movies stink. We got the guy from the second Human Centipede movie and he actually talks this time around so it was really cool to see that because it was kind of annoying when he like did not even say a word. He just like did like all these like gestures in the second movie. And you really feel bad for him having to put up with all the warden's shit. And there's no forgiving the casting director for having a supposed porn star named Brie Olsen to play a ditzy uh secretary uh i had a one of my friends ended up telling me like they looked it up for me <laughs> i was like really don't even get me started on eric roberts's role i mean he's kind of like a has-been actor now seriously it was just like pointless and if you've seen the first two movies there are a lot of cameos uh from people that showed up in the other movies into this movie including the director tom six Things that I did like, which is like very little, was at least it was trying to set itself apart from the previous films by raising the stakes, and that's literally the only thing that happened. But it really misses the mark when trying to live up to that challenge uh, of being a decent sequel, which was expected for a movie of this size. And I'm not talking about how long that human centipede got, because the shot from the poster that happens uh, way later than I expected it to be. I was just literally hoping for more. And I felt like this had some of the sickest prison scenes ever. And it took me two times just to get through this movie because it was just so inappropriate. And I could not even stand watching it. Thank goodness I would not have to do that again. Overall, this movie just was a downright terrible movie. I don't even know if I should recommend it to you guys because I just feel like you'd be wasting your time watching it. So don't even ask me why I bothered to watch it in the first place. I just wanted to see it because I actually uh, found the other two movies, you know, to be, like, interesting. I don't know if there's a good word to describe those movies, but either way, this one was just a disgrace. I would give this one heart on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Human Centipede 3. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.